One of the biggest changes you'll notice when moving up from an older version of AutoCAD is the ribbon. The AutoCAD ribbon has been in use since the 2009 release and was meant to create consistency with Microsoft's products. The ribbon is organized into tabs and panels. Each ribbon tab, such as Home or Insert, contains a number of panels, such as Draw and Modify on the Home tab. Each panel contains a number of individual tools, some with flyouts. Some panels also expand to show more tools. These panels are denoted by a small arrow next to the panel title. These expanded panels can be pinned open using the pin icon in the bottom left corner. Additionally, the small arrow on the bottom right corner of some panels, like the dimensions panel, will bring up the applicable settings. The ribbon is also the new interface for many of the dialog boxes you may be used to. For instance, the hatch command now returns a contextual ribbon tab, which only appears once the command has been invoked. You'll know it's a contextual ribbon tab by the green tint. You can also change the way the ribbon displays. By clicking this button, you can cycle through four different states. The ribbon can be closed and opened with the ribbon close and ribbon commands. If you're accustomed to the classic AutoCAD interface, which includes menus and toolbars, try the AutoCAD Classic workspace. Or, for a hybrid, simply add the menus to your workspace containing the ribbon. Type menu bar and set the value to 1, and the menus will appear. Common tools have also been added to the Quick Access Toolbar and the Application menu, accessible through the large red Application button at the top left of AutoCAD. Be careful not to double-click the button or the program will close.